Hello, welcome to Chalk Talk. My name is Loudon Blair and I'm a network architect at Siena. Today I'm going to talk about uh, the optical control plane. Now the optical control plane is essentially a tool that we use in optical networks to help us simplify how we create connectivity across a network. So think of the control plane like uh, your remote control on your television set. You push a button and you change the channel. And you don't see all the complicated stuff that goes on in the background. That's what the control plane is doing for you on the optical network. There are two key functional components to uh, an optical control plane. The first one is associated with uh, discovery and the, the dissemination of information across the network. So when I, what I mean by discovery is typically you'll have network elements sitting in a network what they'll do is they'll talk to each other and they'll discover their, 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 each, their, their address, they'll discover the names of each other. And once they've discovered uh, who they're connected to, they'll share that information with everybody else in the network. The second component of the optical control plane is once you have discovered the, the topology of the network, once you've discovered what resources are available in the network, then you can decide to turn up connections across the network. So there are two key pieces here. One is path computation, which is done through the use of a, a routing protocol. And then you use a signaling protocol to connect you through the network in stages. Signal, signaling messages from node to node to node until you get from the source to the destination. Imagine being able to turn up a connection in response to a failure. Well, that is known as mesh restoration. So you, in response to a failure, you get an alarm and you can turn up a new connection, mesh restoration. So as long as there's sufficient capacity, sufficient bandwidth in the network, the network will continue to restore and, and, and find a way to recover service. This means that the network can operate at exceedingly high levels of availability. And in fact, networks that we are operating today are operating uh, with six nines, between six nines and seven nines availability, which is unprecedented in, in the history of networking. Once the network automatically discovers itself, it sends this information up to the planning systems. The planning systems now get an accurate and timely uh, inventory of the network, and they're able to plan precisely what new capacity is needed in the network over very short timescales. So when planning systems, when planning techniques used to take months, they can now take minutes. However, Siena has been involved in developing optical control plane technology for the past 10 years. And we have deployed this in some of the largest networks in the world. Now, over the past 10 years, this control plane technology has been applied to SONNET and SDH networks. But now we're seeing it being applied to the optical transport network or OTN networks and actually to the DWDM network or uh, to, to create, to build up uh, light wave connections uh, for, for, for wavelengths uh, across the photonic network. And where we're going next is actually to tie these together in terms of a multi-layer control plane, tying together the digital OTN component with the photonic DWDM component to provide the most efficient network solution you can possibly get. Siena's optical control plane is going to change the way that you compete.